Hello and welcome to the Monster Hunter Rise demo. I feel like it wasn't that long ago that the game was announced and we're already at the demo stage. Um, I do want to do... Okay, I heard this vaguely. <laughs> um, but I have not seen much or done much. I've kind of been trying to stay on the outer edge of the Monster Hunter content. Oh, that was a cool one for the Switch X. That a return? Hmm. I kind of don't want to know. That definitely looks like it's from the new flagship, potentially. Standard. Oh my god, that's pretty. Oh, uh, Basarios? I didn't think that one had been confirmed. Okay. I'm getting distracted. I'm gonna do switch X. I've actually been in a switch X mood. Oh wait, no, the charge blade has my one of my favorite armor sets of this. Look there, so you know what? We're gonna do charge blade. And that charge blade looks awesome. Uh we've been running an early trick that uses iron silk. To bend the monster to your will. While we've been riding, riding, you can force the monster to attack other monsters or even slam it into walls, dealing massive damage. This feels kind of like. I know there are some special case scenarios with mounting. I refuse that's going to take to specially hang on monsters, and that's what we'll be practicing today. So once you're good to go, head down. Head on down, I'll give you more info once you do. Uh, hold R and press L to move. Attack with A and X, evade with B. Whee! Uh, it looks like a fucking keyblade. That's... Mm. <laughs> Looks so cool. Okay. R immediately. Okay, there's the charge. Now I'm trying to. Okay. Damn, wait to... There we go. Okay. So it's right trigger and attack to do the switch. This reminds me of f fucking Kingdom Hearts. Okay, I love it. That that design's fucking amazing. If it isn't Kimura's okay, variety of action can be performed with extraordinary creature. The wire bow perform rapid aerial maneuvers, wire dash without weapon specific gambits like silk bind or regain composure with wire fall. An exhausted wire bug gauge will recover over time, but they can't and can then be used again. The trigger condition time need to recover vary for every action. Capturing wild wire bug will temporarily increase the gauge by one. Technically used by Kamor or hunters, use wire bugs to zip through the air and quickly reach your target. Press ZL L. While holding ZL, press X to move vertically, press A to move forward, or press the R to move while and you are aiming. Each weapon has its own unique self bind action using the wire bug. And these actions can be used with your weapon sheath to use it. Draw your weapon, hold Z or R, then press X A. Each weapon type has its own skill, so experimental is recommended. D L A. Is it possible to climb this? Oh, 
There we go. Okay. That's it. I've been waiting for you. Uh, the spider. Attacks or something with sending the bike to your own or using certain intimate life. These are the hunting bases. Wait. Hey. Why burn right time? Oh. Oh. Lord. Okay, so this is Excellent. unlimited time. Well done. Oh, maybe one of them stop moving. Damage numbers. care to do this because this is not actually seen very okay Switch out for this one. I love the aesthetic of this map. Especially since it goes with the aesthetic of the base. Why 
is there a thing? I'm assuming this is some sort of auto tracker taking me where I need to go. Can't you run up mountains? How do? That's what I really want to learn is the um, more traversal aspects. Oh, there's... That's Jagras. So Great Jagras? Well, all. if Great Jagras is in this game, then... Ooh, I feel like I have a better shot for getting some of the monsters I want. <laughs> Because if Great Jagras is in the same game as Ludros, then my chances of getting Giganox in the same game as, uh, who is it called? Gazoo is much better. Oh. I'm kind of messing around. this beginner one. The oh, this is the actual target. <laughs> oh, cool! Hey! They move a lot faster. They're still a little spry. Okay. Oh wow, that was cool. Oh, I broke parts too? That still looks fun. Okay, that looked more fun. And the fact that it's somewhat... I wouldn't say easy. Once away, I want to say it naturally occurs almost. You don't have to aim for it as much as I imagined you would have. Kind of just... Or the very least, even if I'm not setting up, the Palico Palamut potentially good. Or maybe some more so the Palico. Zerus hits harder. Just be my imagination, but it felt that way. Watch your health. Shit! I'm gonna actually know that one hit pretty hard. I do want to see what happens on the side. It, this just seems to be like a normal pack. Um, granted, they're 
It's normal pack, but it's also like synchronized attack in a way. Which you don't which I don't think was normal for her, say. Um hmm, great jaggy. And great baggy to do. They still had a very similar MO of they traveled in packs, but the synchro attack aspect was not part of it. Shut up! <sighs> oh, I also had one of these. Where's- why is there a great out section with a health bar if I just took a max potion? it apparently is the answer. I will... I do kind of want to go back into this one and just explore the areas a bit and I'm gonna do it with the dual I don't care to fight Azorus much. I don't feel the need to, really. But. I do think it's worth exploring. Is this, okay, the tent if you wanna change. Buddy board? I don't know what that means. Maybe. Oh! Right, doggo. Grab that. Oh, this is so neat. Gonna get off Doggo. I think this is where I'm supposed to fight. <laughs> you meant to. This looks familiar. This reminds me of an area. Just small aspects of it. Francis, come here. It does make me think, I don't know if this is just the random ones they decided to name, or how they decided to name them randomly. However, it does make me think there might be, okay, that for some reason is blocked off. Do you think it might be? story related. I want to go to the top section. So. Once we're in past. He 
here. But I just want to explore. We got time. I think they get more than enough time to deal with the hunt aspect. Got some buildings. This area has been shown off a lot, but I don't feel like I've seen not seen the full interconnected piece. Excuse me. Looks useful. This should be These are the Tanuki. Kelby. I think I just hit the kill me, not realizing. Uh, hmm. Wait. That's Rogi! Hi! I knew you were in this game though. Oh, there's a mining spot. There's a squirrel. Hara, ooh, ooh, ooh. This seems like a place for a Rathion and Rathalos to come. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Okay. Head down. Whee! Oh. Boulderum. Wow, they have an annoying cry. Pay attention to your stamina. I'm aware. These are the hunting bases. Okay. I don't think that works the same way. I'm thinking it should. Oh, the jacket's trying to help me. I'm sorry. You're just in the way. Your help is appreciated, though. I feel like this is abuse. Hmm. Okay. 
lessons are automatically unlimited, which is good. Actually, no, that might be a demo thing. Is this turf war? And it doesn't seem like it, otherwise I missed it. Even the Palico seem to be attacking more consistently. Because I've seen. Farewell, even, even say in the world, there are moments where it's just like, do something. Help. Move. I'll help myself, thank you. Feels like they don't throw out attacks much, and this seems like they're way more animated to do more attacks. Like that was a lot of that I was saying. And it didn't seem like they were pausing for much or any extended period of time. So the AI on the assist Palagos and such seems good. Hello, Jagras. Snow Beetle. Thunderbug. 